Um, actually, what do I think about this? <laughs> Bullish on home ownership as part of the American dream. Um, with that said, I think home ownership is changing, meaning the desire to own a home, the imperative to own a home, and the kind of drive to own a home is, I think, as present as ever, in part because the pandemic forced us to impute on our home more value in, in a differentiated way than we did previously. It's no longer just where we where we sleep, it's actually where we work. And as I said, where we educate, where we exercise, there's so many things can take place in the home. With that said, I think there are new ownership models that provide more flexibility for consumers, especially young consumers, to purchase homes, to get access to the equivalent of home, home ownership earlier and with more flexible structures. That I think is a really good thing because it creates choice and more options and options create value for consumers. So all of these new synthetic kind of financing instruments that build ways for consumers to get access to home, like a rent to own model and reverse mortgage model. Those are really powerful. And I think those are here to stay. And I think they create, create options for, for consumers that are looking to buy homes. Bullish on build to rent solutions and generally single family rental opportunities. I think that there are so many families in the U.S. that do not necessarily wish to own or purchase a home, but want to live in a standalone home. And I think there were these kind of harbingers of what, were, what was about to come with invitation homes and many of the um, kind of single family rental platforms. But I think this is a trend that is absolutely going to continue. And I think you're going to see increased institutionalization of the asset class, meaning more large institutional developers and buyers of single family rental homes. Thank you.